we, we're talking about this this so this this trajectory of hopefully becoming more and more self abiding in that and channeling that as artistry through us. Um, where what is the what is the telos? What is the purpose um, for the ultimate dreamer, infinite consciousness, to make the dream? It, what is the purpose of it? And in terms of trajectory to heading towards some sort of a, a godhead, what, what, what happens? Do we Ouroboros another dream? Is that, yeah. And, 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 how, what, and what's the relationship with artificial intelligence and uh, like virtual realities reg and simulation theory with that godhead and that continued Ouroboros, please, Rupert. Yes. <laughs> my... my my mother, who first introduced me to these matters in my, in my mid-teens, uh, reminds me quite often that when I was about seven years old, uh, I said to her, I think that the entire universe is God's dream and that our part in the dream is to make God's dream as nice a dream as possible. Well, that was an innocent, naive seven-year-old's way of expressing what we are speaking of now. And I have to confess that I have not evolved very much over the intervening 50 or so years. I still basically feel the same thing, although I express it in somewhat more sophisticated language. But so I still think that uh, the universe is God's dream. I don't often use that language, although I am really a, a closet. Sufi, I tend not to use that language because the word God has uh, um, is so intolerable to so many people for, for, for obvious reasons it has been abused so much. So I tend not to use that language. I, I consider this to be the activity of an infinite consciousness. As to the purpose of it, to, to answer your question, I would no longer say that I think its purpose is to be as nice as possible a dream for God to have, so that God doesn't have to have nightmares. Or Its, it's ultimate purpose, I would suggest, is, is that the, the, is for the reality to shine unobscured through the illusion. So the, the illusion being the appearance of multiplicity and diversity, which for most of us conceals its reality. Yeah. I would suggest that the purpose, if we can speak of purpose, is for that the illusion, the appearance of multiplicity and diversity, not to conceal its reality, but to reveal yeah. its reality, to express it, to communicate it, to share it, to celebrate it. Yes. In other words, yeah. for, for, the appearance to become increasingly transparent to its reality. Yes. 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 And I believe uh, beautiful. And I believe uh, Francis uh, Lucille says uh, it's a uh, eternal uh, Fourth of July fireworks. Yes. Yeah. He said that once. I think. Yes. 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 And uh, I, I, I like, I like that as, uh, as, as the purpose. Um, for for the reality to shine through the um, illusion, um, yeah, I, I like I like that, and and it does seem like it's there's like a there's a titration in a sense if we can use that uh, more and more towards that re, towards that remembrance, and um, and it it and that's Rupert. There's a lot about artificial intelligence and virtual realities and simulations that I think have a lot to do with the Godhead. That, that's for another conversation. <laughs> let, 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 let's not get started on that now. <laughs> ah, okay. 